How's it going everyone? So one of my most popular asked questions on my videos are how do I get holsters for different light situations? Because I do do a lot of budget friendly lights and I have a lot of guns that I uh, will run a, uh, a particular light on that you can't really find holsters for online. And so I do get a lot of questions about where do I get the holsters for them? And so that's what this video is going to be kind of dedicated to is to kind of tell you where do I get my holsters from? You may be familiar with this holster. This is a holster that was um, for a gun previously, and it has now got a different gun in there. And you can... Sorry, my light cut off. And you can see that this holster is fit to my P365 with my TRL-6 on here. And that is because typically what I do, I don't keep all the guns on my channel. I'm not wealthy enough to be able to get new guns constantly and redo old guns and stuff like that. So this actually is something that I do is I will refit my holsters to a different firearm. In this particular case, we are talking about refitting this holster for the C C P365 where originally it was fit for a, uh, I believe the G3C, or no, not the G3C, the G3, with an Olight on it. So, yeah, we're just gonna go into it, and I will explain what, I can't show you the process I was going to, but then I thought about it, and I could see them considering that as a video of showing you how to modify a firearm, as dumb as that sounds. My, my videos do get flag sometimes and if I get too many strikes my channel actually gets taken down so I am trying to be cautious about that. So how do I reform these? So I take your holster here and I take all the hardware off and I will literally take a baking sheet, throw some tin foil down and put it in the oven. This particular one is a very pretty thick material so I put it in there at like 300 degrees I wait until it gets to a, um, it's not really liquidy, but it's it's like a melted texture. How do I explain it? So, I'll lift that a step. So, let's go ahead and backtrack. I shove some tin foil in here at the shape of the firearm, um, or the thickness, to keep it from collapsing in on itself all the way. And uh, you'll see that it'll lose, like how it's got this definition here for certain objects, like for instance, the front end of the, the firearm here and the front end of the laser or the light, those things will lose all the definition. It'll just flatten out and you'll just see a kind of a bulge where your tin foil is. That's how I know the holster's ready. At that point, pull it out and I will flip it upwards. I will, obviously I've got gloves under this, pull the, um, geez, pull the tin foil out, and then I'll insert the firearm and press around the firearm, get it really firm, really firm. So once it's all pressed around it, you'll have a pretty good locking in situation. Now, of course, I, I go into kind of like, I'm really thorough about it. I don't just shove it in there and call it a day. I make sure it's canted exactly where I want it and everything like that. It's going to be comfortable for me. So these are things that if you're going to do this, you might want to take an account for uh, for yourself to make sure you know you get it exactly where you want it. You'll see on the edges here, I flip them out. I don't want anything to try to roll itself in. I don't want anything to particularly like, for instance, this situation, I don't want something to try to grab my trigger and push it in on me. So it's folded out to where it's right in, then it locks in. Now this particular situation that I've got going on right here with this one, my retention point is right past that light. That's where I'm focusing on pushing and putting a lot of pressure. And if you don't get it perfect right off the bat out of the oven, you can always take a heat gun, heat up that area, and apply a little bit more pressure. You wanna get it snug, you'll kinda of know what's comfortable to you sliding in and out. But I, this is just me, I mean, be very careful if you're gonna do this, I make sure that all my edges that are around certain parts of the firearm, I'll like keeps turning off. Certain edges that are around those parts of the firearm, they won't pull the trigger or anything like that. So once it's all done, it's in place, I make sure I add a little bit of tilt to these because 
I'm not a completely flat person, so I want it to be rounded, go around with my waistband a little bit. This is supposed to be an outside the waistband holster. I use it as inside the waistband holster. So that's how I do it. So when you ask questions like, where do I get holsters for all these? I kind of do it myself with old holsters that I have that I might not have the firearm for. Um, so yeah, that's how I go about getting things like, for instance, this particular setup has a ton of holster options. I could have just went and ordered one, but I didn't need to. So just as simple as making your own. And as long as you do it right, you'll have retention and everything like you need. It's not coming out. It's not going anywhere. So you'll be able to form it yourself. And like I said, you just take some time, take some practice, and it's really, really not hard. So that's one way you can do it. So hopefully that answered that question really good and everybody feels, you know, happy with the answer because I know I've done a lot of things with different lights. Like for instance, I got one right up here. This guy, the HG54R or HG54 Plus. There's no holsters that fit this guy. So the way I got a G3C holster that fit it, because this was on my G3C for a while, till it stopped working, was reforming Kydex. That's just kind of what I do. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informative. And if you've got any questions, definitely comment below your questions or if you got suggestions or different ideas and things like that, or maybe a better way. Cause this is just something I did on my own. This isn't something anybody told me to do. So maybe there's better suggestions, you know, more than I do put it in the comments below and, uh, hope you all have a nice day.